Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Um, very happy to be here with you in this session through this short video. Uh, my name is Rene Zamora. I am a forest engineer and economist and currently working for the Water Resources Institute, where I support the, our work on the Global Restoration Initiative, Policy Acceleration, and Initiative 20 by 20, which is the regional platform in support to the Bond Challenge and uh, the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. I want to thank ISTF2 for inviting me to, to do this short video. Um, I am from Guatemala. And I would like to share with you um, two of the drivers that are affecting restoration in my home country. One of the main drivers um, that I would cite here is agriculture, agricultural commodities. There is a need inside the country and outside the country for certain commodities like beef, palm oil, um, milk, and those commodities put a pressure on the land. We need um, a certain amount of land to produce those commodities. And in many cases, the land that is on natural forest uh, is, is the one that is uh, threatened by, by these drivers that are willing to transform these lands into agricultural lands to produce these market commodities. Um, that's uh, uh, one of the, the issues. The other one is, is the, the value and the time of the restoration itself. As you know, restoration is not a, a, an immediate process that you will have all the results in one day, two days. It can happen in many years. It requires a lot of effort. And because of that, uh, if you don't have the, the cash flow needed to live well, because you have other activities, other alternatives, it's very difficult. Can you imagine a farmer trying to restore land and having to wait five, 10 years to have returns? So first you need an investment, and then you need you will have the returns at the very end, but it will take some time. And that happens with reforestation, agroforestry, civil pasture, and other practices. So we need to take that into account. And the other issue is that, that many of these ecosystem services that we are recovering don't have a really market value, as in a formal economy, we have monetized value. And that's a, a problem of our economy, that it doesn't account for these important services and there is not a, a framework to monetize them. Some cases it's even unethical to monetize them because for example, can you imagine an habitat, a nectar of an habitat for a, for a, for a species, um, it's, uh, it has an immense value. We cannot really value um, that in, in, in monetary terms. So that's the, the other issue. But the good thing is in Guatemala, there are also strong policies. There is a commitment to restore 1.2 million hectares of degraded lands. And there is a policy instrument for that, which is ProBosque, an incentives program that provides farmers with resources to cover upfront costs of these restoration activities, including reforestation, agroforestry, silvopasture, assisted natural regeneration, sustainable forest management, and also riparian forest restoration. So there are many other activities, but those are the main ones. And that could generate a, really a, a, a new restoration economy where we can have nurseries from native species producing high quality plants that we can grow and convert in trees that can provide this, all this value that we're restoring. Um, there's, there is still a lot of challenges in this space. Um, and um, some challenges are inside Guatemala, some challenges are outside, as I said, markets are there. But I think um, there are good progress for a country that although small, it's very highly diverse and, and, and it's uh, taking the right steps uh, with policies like ProBosque. Thank you very much. I hope you have a very successful session. And thank you, Sheila, for inviting me to do this and the board of ISTF. Bye now.